Hello, my name is Robert and in this tutorial I want to show you how to do low poly rock formations. So let's start by making a plane. We're going to scale it up just a little bit and let's go into edit mode and subdivide a couple times. Uh, 10 will be fine. Actually, no, we want to subdivide. No, not, no, actually. So, yeah, let's just leave it like that. And we're going to go into face select mode and we're going to select a couple faces. And you can choose whatever, whatever faces you want. This will be the base of the formation you're making. So now we want the snap and we want to extrude. And now we want to select some other faces. I'm actually going to deselect and I'm going to deselect these faces right over here. I'm going to scale it, uh, extrude again, sorry. And now I'm going to deselect a few more faces once more. And I'm going to extrude. And you can do this as many times as you want. You can even extrude um, actually from over here. Could look pretty interesting. I don't like it, but you could do that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, these squares that we haven't used. Well, not squares, faces. And when we're done with that, the first thing we're going to do is add loop cuts. So just make sure they look like squares. The end result will be much nicer. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we're going to select different uh, loops. And actually, we're going to use the um, proportional editing. So press L. Now if you rotate and press Z, it rotates with it. So just a little bit, not too much. And now what we want to do is go into random and select a few vertices and you're going to want to move up and actually we want more area and let's do this once more and now make sure that uh, the base is flat. So press S, Z, 0. And actually, we need to turn off the proportional editing. So press O again. So scale Z, 0. So now we have that flat. And actually, we could do some further changes if we want. Uh, now what we're going to do is go into add modifier and we're going to triangulate and we're going to press apply and now we're going to do more changes so go into uh, these kind of cracks over here just on one side you want to make sure you grab quite a few. You don't have to do this, this isn't necessary, but it makes it look uh, more low poly. Well, not more low poly, it's just like kind of like a different art style. And we want to select this to smooth. So now let's uh, scroll this down and let's, actually let's take the snapping off. As you can see, that looks much nicer. And we're going to do the same in the back. So make sure you select quite a few. And let's move back. 
And now we're actually are going to do the same with some of these. Because we don't want them to look so uh, straight. So this is a little bit tedious, but once you're done, it'll look pretty nice. I promise. Okay, so let's move this back on the Y. And as you can see, it's starting to get shape. And I don't like how this looks, so I'm going to move this back. No, that looks much nicer. And you can do as many changes as you want. You can even do different um, formations and do booleans on other rock for on bigger rock formations, and it will look really, really cool. You should definitely try that. So, as you can see. Uh, this was fairly simple. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.